Hey, this is Adam, KI7RED. I'm going to make a quick video showing the different uh, power readouts on this Diamond SX40C SWR meter. And I've gotten a new Yesu FT60 uh, handheld. So I am on a simplex channel. Uh, right now 146.56 uh, and I am going to try this out on the back of the SWR meter. I've got my antenna connection is that bigger cable on the right um, and then my input connection from the handheld radio this little pigtail that comes down into the handheld. So uh, as I've tried this very low meter reading I have a J -pole, aluminum J pole on the roof um, and so it's reading basically zero on the SWR. So I'm going to go ahead and transmit here on the simplex channel. KI7RED testing. So you can see there on that left hand side where it says forward, uh, it is transmitting at five watts. So I am going to now uh, shift this down to medium power. And we're going to try that. It should be uh, at 2 watts, I believe, is what that is. So, testing KI7RED. There it is on the SWR meter. Went up to exactly 2 watts. We'll now go down to, uh, it goes down to, I believe it's half a watt on low power. Testing KI7RED. So there you saw that. Testing KI7RED. Going just up to about half a watt on the SWR meter. I am now going to switch to a uh, Balfang radio. This is the BF uh, BFF8HP, and they advertise this as. Uh, being able to transmit on 8 watts and I found that it only on high power only transmits at about 6 watts so we'll look at that here I'm going to switch antennas okay switch radios is what I meant so I have swapped out using the same cabling there's a little pigtail going into my roof mounted it's a aluminum J pole made by a local ham Carl Pockris uh, here in Utah County in the state of Utah. Um, so this Baofeng right now I have it set it's a little bit hard to see just at that top left right above my thumb there's a little H it is at high power on the same channel so um, as advertised this is supposed to go to 8 watts broadcasting and as you watch that left hand meter on the SWR meter let's push that. KI7RED testing KI7RED testing there you can see it only went up to 6 watts. Let's try that again on high power. Testing KI7RED testing. So only went to 6 watts. We're going to drop this down to medium. So right there on the left it went to the M as medium. Fast way to do that is the bottom right key right there the number of pound sign. Um, so then this drops the power KI7RED testing. This is supposed to be at 5 watts and so it's reading about 5 and 3 quarter watts on this meter. KI7RED testing. So as you can see on medium power and high power as advertised it really doesn't go to 8 watts is what I'm finding on this. I do have very low uh, zero basically uh, SWR readings for my antenna so a good setup and that right hand meter the reflected it does work when I've put in a different antenna so my roof antenna and RG8U cable that one on the right um, it's been a good setup for me so let's go to the Baofeng let's go push that bottom right key go down to low power so it switched a little hard to see switch to low power that L let's try that again KI7RED testing 
so just below 2 watts. KI7 RED testing. Okay, so um, from what I can tell, uh, this Baofeng does not actually transmit in 8 watts. It stays about the same. Um, the FT60, as advertised, was exactly um, on the readings when it switched between high, low, and medium power. Um, both have been decent radios for what I've had so far. The Yesu I've just had for a couple weeks, uh, but tried it in several instances and it works well. And the Baofeng, frankly, I've had it for what, six or eight months and it's worked very well for me. Um, haven't had any problems. And on the air, I've tried both of these uh, and people have indicated that switching back and forth between radios while transmitting uh, nearly identical in sound. Uh, ind individuals have said the Yesu FT60 is a little bit more crisp, uh, but overall uh, both have been decent radios for me. Hope that helped. Um, this is again the Diamond SX40C um, antenna SWR meter. Thanks, KI7RED.